am so hungry! We're seriously gonna starve! Save your energy, Carol. You'll just make yourself hungrier. Sharp stomachs make short graces, Carol. What does that mean? It means hunger can make you rude, and that leads to angry people attacking you with sharp things. I think you're a little off. But whatever, Yuri and Rita seem to be pretty calm despite not having eaten in a while. I'm, I'm used, used to it. it. Uh-huh. Ah! There's a delicious steak right on top of Rapide's back! It's a trap. Don't succumb to temptation. Maybe we should do something about this. Yuri! Yuri! I found a green piece of veggie bread in my bag! I can eat it, right? Right? What the? No, Carol, don't! Seriously, this is getting dangerous. Let's eat something already. Two barrier blastia of this city and Nor Harbor were originally a single blastia. Did you read that in one of your books back in the castle? Yes. Actually, there were three pieces. The last piece sunk in the sea between the two cities. I wonder if you could raise that blastia. And if you sold it, you could live like a king forever. The Empire would have already done it if they could. Any idiot could come up with that idea. You don't have to be mean about it. It's you all. We meet again. So what's a successor to the Imperial Throne doing in a place like this? I've been working with the Dawn to officially seal our Treaty of Friendship. Is it going well? Well, I wish I could say it were going better. I can imagine. That Heracles monstrosity kind of made the Union really not like the Empire. Yes. And now, prominent members of the Empire are voicing their doubts regarding the Friendship Treaty. The conditions the Don gave the Empire were for a treaty of equality, after all. And they are certainly not on equal footing with something like that. Yes. Had I known about Heracles beforehand, I could have stopped them. But... You didn't know about that thing? You're in line to be Emperor. I know, but I have no authority over the Imperial Knights. The Imperial Knights act on orders from the Emperor alone. They do not report to anyone else. Well then, it's easy. Just become Emperor. You mean... Becoming Emperor isn't as simple as that. Why not? To ascend to the throne, one must possess the Imperial treasure, Dane Nomos. But Dane Nomos went missing around the time of the Great War, ten years ago. Huh. So that's the real story why we still don't have an Emperor. And that's why Rago wanted to get his hands on Dane Nomos. What was that, Yuri? Forget it, it's nothing. Anyway, is it really okay for an Imperial candidate to be wandering the streets like this? I was just on my way to Heliord. Ah, that is closer to Dongress than this place is. Negotiations would probably go smoother there. I believe so too. Master Yoder, we should be off. 
If you'll please excuse me. Against that many? You've got to be crazy! I wouldn't do that even if I had nine lives. What's going on? Halt! If you won't do the work I've paid you for, then I want my money back. Add the indigo beasts to the blacklisted guilds. Yes, Madam President. Isn't that the woman we met at Dayton Hold? Yeah, that's her, all right. Well, why do you guys know her? We just met her once a while back. Is she a friend of yours? I wouldn't say I know her. She's the president of Fortune's Market, one of the five master guilds. In other words, she's one of the top dogs at the Union. <laughs> hey, I just got an idea! What's up, Carol? Maybe she could get a boat for us to take across to Desier. Well, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell, you've come at just the right time. Huh, I guess those wanted posters really do work. Listen, I've got a job that would be just perfect for you. Hard labor, huh? I like a man who can cut to the chase. As you may have heard, schools of mermen often attack cargo ships at this time of year. Huh? But I thought there was another guild that always served as your escort. It seems the leader of the mercenary guild I hire passed away suddenly, so they aren't available. The other Guardian Guild simply has no backbone. I don't know what to do. What was the name of that Guardian Guild you mentioned? The Blood Alliance. Gee, I wonder what could have happened to them. You're all as guilty as I am. Hate to disappoint you, but we're in the middle of something right now, so... See you around. Wait, Yuri. What about the boat? Hmm? Did you say boat? We've made a guild of our own. We're called Brave Vesperia! That's a wonderful name. Well then, shall we talk business? Mutual gain is one of the basics of all business, you know. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Sorry, but like I said, we're in the middle of a job. We can't take on anything else right now. We won't call it business then. Let's just say we'll cooperate as two guilds helping each other out. That way we won't be going against any guild principles. There are various incentives for getting along with me, you know. Um, well... All right, we can talk, but we need to go to Nordopolica. We can't afford any detours. Fine with me. The mermen are only a problem in the waters near here. As long as I get to another port, I'm good. Once we arrive, I won't have any trouble making arrangements with another ship. Wow, she means business. Literally. So, do we have a deal? I have the sinking feeling we just got tricked into something. Fortune's Market isn't known as the best group of salesmen under the sun for nothing. This isn't so bad. Now we have a way to cross over to Desier. I'll even throw in a bonus for all of you. Bonus? What do you mean? If we arrive safely in Nordopolica, I'll give you the boat we used to get there. Really? The boat looks pretty beat up, but it's still a good deal. Right? So these mermen must be pretty tough customers if you're willing to part with the boat. I'll leave that to your imagination. figured as much. Marvelous. We have a contract, then. Now that we've settled the details, I'd like you to get to work right away. Just let me know when you've made your preparations. This is the Fiertia. She'll be your ship as soon as you've escorted her to Nordopolica. And this man is Tokunaga of Gullsong, a maritime guild affiliated with Fortune's Market. I'm Tokunaga. Very nice to meet you. He's only on board for this voyage, so next time be sure to hire your own pilot. We're not in a hurry, but these are important negotiations, so I really appreciate the help. What is the ship's cargo? That's confidential information. It's nothing we should be worried about, is it? Relax. 
We've got it covered. All right, head towards Nordopolica. Go directly southwest from Torum Harbor and you'll see the Desier continent. Nordopolica is at the eastern edge. I hope you won't mind if I go over the Fiertia's controls for you. You can only disembark from the ship where you see a dock, a port, or a beach. You won't be able to get onto land where there are cliffs. Of course, the ship can't pass over rocks, but you'll also have to keep her out of the shallows around islands. You might be able to take her into some rivers if they're deep enough. However, if there's a bridge spanning the river, you won't be able to take her under. We wouldn't want to clip off our mast. And that's about it. We just started out and we're already working with one of the five master guilds. This is good. Yeah, you're one step closer to making your dream a reality, Carol. Aren't you happy? You talking to the kid? He's over there mumbling about something. Merman. The first thing had to be Merman. Brave Vesperia has some bad luck. What's the president of Fortune's Market gonna think of us if we fail? This is bad. This is so bad. I don't think he's very happy. He's just being careful, that's all. That's not being careful. That's running and hiding. It'll be nice if we don't run into the merman, won't it? Hmm, that's pretty wishful thinking. You're quite the pessimist for your age, girly. I'm just a realist. Anyway, thanks for your help. Looks like we're gonna make it there on time. Yeah, Leviathan's Claw was going to beat us there if we hadn't found an escort for the ship. Leviathan's Claw, huh? That's a name I seem to be hearing a lot lately. Oh? They're the guild that's specializing in sales of Hopeland Blastia. Oh, that explains the situation in Heliord. Lately, they've been trying to steal our clients from us. If we weren't able to cross the sea, they would have swiped up another one of our major customers. Still, you can't help but wonder where those slime balls are getting their products from. Indeed. Hoplum Blastia isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world to get one's hands on. You don't think the Empire is behind this? No, that couldn't be. It's mages that are supervising the Blastia distribution. Ah, right on time. Everyone, be careful! spinning. I think I'm getting seasick. Did that monster just say something? That voice sounds familiar. Well, well, aren't you a chatty monster? What a pain! They're everywhere! We'll crush them all! You're true to your reputation. I was right to bring you along. I tell you, Brave Vesperia doesn't have any shame in working an old man down to the bone. Even while I'm looking for Apatheia and doing all sorts of other things. Apatheia? Isn't that what you were looking for back in Nor Harbor? That's right. That's nothing but a fairy tale. I researched it a while back, but eventually I realized that there's simply no way it can theoretically exist. I'm well aware people think it's a fairy tale. Why are you looking for it? Well, because the Don told me to. It's still alive! Patty! 
Daddy! Well, that was a pleasant voyage. Can you really call it a voyage when you're in a monster's belly? What are you doing all the way out here? I was hunting for treasure when I fell into the ocean, but a nice monster came to play with me. Oh, I'm glad you didn't become part of a complete breakfast. This is all well and good, but can we get the ship back on course? Yeah, sure. Ah! <laughs> so that wasn't all of them. <sighs> I killed him, but he should still rest for a while. Well, this is a real problem. I don't suppose any of you know how to pilot a ship. I can do it! Patty, you can? If you're gonna travel around the world, you'd better be able to at least pilot a ship. Then I'd like to ask you to be in charge of piloting this vessel. You gotta be kidding me. Ah, of course. We've made much better time than I thought. We could even afford to make a side trip or two. I'll leave the course up to you. With a ship, we can go practically anywhere we want. Estelle, I know you want to look for Pharaoh, but don't you think we have more important things to do for the moment? Do you think? I'll do what I want. Don't worry about me. We just started our guild. We should err on the safe side, don't you think, Carol? Yeah. All right. Then feel free to give me directions about our course. The fog's gotten awfully thick. Yeah, it's creeping me out. Fog like this is usually a sign something bad's about to happen. N knock it off! Talk like that long enough and something bad will happen. Hey, front! I mean bow! Hmm. We're going to hit them. What is that? That's an old ship. I've never seen that type before. I think it says... The Atherum. There's no sign of people. It... it's like... it's calling to us. No way! Come on! Get the fear tier going! Hmm... no can do. I don't know why, but the Sarah's Blastia ain't responding at all. What do you mean? What the hell is wrong with it? You think this thing's the problem? Ooh... Maybe it's a cursed ghost ship. 
Y you don't really think so, do you? Why don't we go take a look? It'll be fun. I love this sort of thing. What? Well, we don't know what's wrong with the Blastia. We gotta go take a look. Are you planning on just leaving the Fiertia like this? All right, why don't four of us go investigate while the rest stay here and keep watch? That should be fine. Okay, so repeat and I'll go. <clears throat> and who's the third person? I'm not going, no way! Yuri, why don't you decide? Gotcha. You need to think about balance when splitting the party. Understand? This ship could also be attacked by monsters at any time. Me? I'll do my best. Uh, I'm not so good with this sort of thing. This isn't something guilds are supposed to be doing. All of you be careful. We'll set off a smoke signal as soon as the Ceres Blastia is fixed. Thanks. Do you think the others are all right? You should probably worry a little more about how we're doing. There's no telling what might happen on a boat this sketchy. You say that, but you sound like you're enjoying all this. Maybe that's why I don't feel all that scared myself. Oh man, this isn't gonna be half as fun if you're not properly terrified. Fun? Never mind. Get ready. I'm taking you down.
You'll be gone soon enough. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Destructo paint shot! Oh power that tries soul shine! Full power! On Done. Easy. I feel this 
This one's pretty tough. We must be cautious. Resound, oh cry of victory! I just heard a weird noise. Watch out! Ah! It's no good. It won't open. It looks like we have no choice but to keep moving. Yep, let's go. I wonder if everyone we left behind is okay. What happened? I can't believe the mast would suddenly collapse like that. I'm A-OK! -okay, but I don't know about the gang that went off on their own. I'd be surprised if they came out of an impact like that without a few scratches. I think we've got to go and make sure they're OK. Is that OK? Now hold on just a second. We'll protect the ship while you're gone. Don't worry. I don't think mermen would show up in a place like this. At least my intuition says they wouldn't. Hey, I ain't the guild anyway. I don't have to look after your ship if I don't wanna. I wonder if we'll be okay with just the three of us. Hmm. That's where I come in. Weren't you told to stay put? Those words are powerless to put out the blazing fire that burns in an adventurer's heart. So, basically you just want to explore the ship? Because the ship, it reeks of treasure. My nose is all stuffed up, so I'll take your word on that. An adventurer's sense of smell is sharper than the teeth of a man-eating shark. Well, then you can come along. But if we find any treasure, we're splitting it up equally. 80, 20, and we've got a deal. Yes, I suppose we don't have a choice. Be sure to come back. I don't want to be adrift out here forever. It does feel a bit hopeless with just the two of us. <sighs> don't say things like that. Talk about something more fun. Oops, uh, sorry. They insisted on going to play on the creepy boat, so here I am stuck going after them. When I find them, oh, they're gonna wish they had died! 